Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Abdul Fitah Ali. I just came to today and um, Dr. Nasser Ahmed. And um, I just came to and um, for him to uh, someone of my family told me he is a herbal doctor. I've seen him in his office and I um, explained to him what happened to me. And by when I seen him, I had a problem long making shorter uh, today i was very very dizzy but even for my eyes and everywhere i couldn't even see i had something very seen i explained to him he asked me to sit down when i sit down in his office i explained Man, depression yeah i was depression sick of life sick of life nothing knowing what to do everything i then every door is closed everything i try i'm help everything's closed Alhamdulillah, and he tested on me, and, and uh, diabetic. He found it that I am 10 point something on... 10.1. Uh, 10.1, uh, my blood level. And um, he, he, uh, he just um, gave me something, small things. Herbal. Herbal medicine. Roughly like 15 minute time. No, half an hour. Half an hour, yeah. Half an hour, 15 minutes, half an hour. Um, he asked me to wash my hand again and he tested again and I came 5.8 5.8 and you can guess the, the difference within half an hour 10.8 and half 5.8 Alhamdulillah I explained to him I'm, I'm leaving uh, in the, tomorrow morning at uh, 9 o'clock my family so dizziness finish yeah dizziness and everything disappeared and now I feel happy and, and blood finished blood gone everything gone I don't have nothing problem and, uh, and I'm, I told him the doctor, uh, I'm going tomorrow morning. At the time it was. And now where are you sitting? Now I'm sitting in his own private house. He doesn't know me. It's first time I came to him. He didn't ask me any money until now. I surprised. This is Alhamdulillah. Allah blessed him, this gentleman, which I and didn't expect. So, what is uh, the name of your uncle who is a brigadier general in uh, my uncle is Somalia. called my uncle is called double pilot uh, general Mahmoud Sheikh Ali is the head of Somali Air Force uh, which I explained to him and um, Alhamdulillah Shabbat uh, Alameen this doctor bring me his own house his private house which Allah blessed him a lot of ni'ma and, and one thing he has is Akhlaq, more than the name he has akhlaq. So um, he didn't know me, he bring me his house. I might be an intruder, I might be a burglar. Absolutely, he doesn't know who I am. He trusted me, he bring me here, and he gave me uh, da'wah as well as. And now, do you have any problem at the moment? Wallahi al -Alim, I don't have nothing problem, I don't have nothing issue. I mean, depression is gone. Alhamdulillah, Disease I can't gone. complain. Headache is gone. I come from the mosque, I have wudu, I pray maghrib, I don't have anything at all whatsoever. Okay, Jazakallah. Shukram, Dr. Uh, my dear brothers, uh, by grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, I think that today Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me the thing to save the life of one person because this brother uh, had many, many issues and uh, I just came and he was sitting, uh, standing on the reception and when I saw he's a stranger, because I saw him for the first time in my life, I hugged him and he was uh, amazed because he was thinking that uh, whatever he had heard about me, it was perception that Dr. Nazir must be very proud and this and that. But Alhamdulillah, I hugged him, I took him to my office. Even uh, he did not have the appointment and I said, brother, how can I help you? He said, uh, my head is uh, just uh, spinning, my eyes are blurred, I can't see properly. and." Uh, I am in a deep depression. I have, I am sick of my life. So I just, uh, at that time, it was the closing time. First of all, I gave him a, a herbal medicine um, for putting his uh, diabetes down. And then after half an hour, Alhamdulillah, as he told him, his diabetes were under control. And then I brought him uh, to my house. Why? Because uh, the school was closed. And uh, why did I bring him to my house? Because he needed CPD. CPD uh, for uh, depression, stress, anxiety, anger, because he had many issues in roughly, um, in the present age, many people have many issues. 
So Alhamdulillah, uh, then I took him to the, uh, I gave, first of all, I gave, I gave him uh, food. I, I ate with him in the same plate. And then I took him to the mosque, half an hour up, half an hour down. And in the way going up and going down, I was just giving him lecture about Akhira and the uh, no value of dunya, that if you lose something, you should not uh, die for it. And uh, think about Jannah, think about Akhira, that is permanent in Jannah. A smallest Janti will get uh, 70 hoors and uh, big, big benefits. Every day the benefit will increase and uh, will be refurbished much better than before. So Alhamdulillah, now came back and this video is made just for the benefit of other people, the one they have lost hope and uh, they think that uh, the, there is an end of the world. So, Alhamdulillah, by grace of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him uh, uh, mean, uh, best health within a couple of hours because he came to me five o'clock and uh, now it is uh, about uh, five, I mean, uh, 10.30. So uh, roughly five and a half hour I spent with him only for sake of Allah. And Alhamdulillah, whenever I, whenever I see some serious case, then I always take it serious. And uh, he uh, belonged to a very, very high family because his uh, uncle is uh, uh, the uh, chief of Air Force. So he can get best treatment in Somalia or anywhere in the world. But he has already tried and nothing happened. Even the things were getting worse. I mean, he was getting more medicine and more problem. But in actual practice, instead of medicine, he needed CBT mean proper akhlaq, love, affection, importance and clearly he got these and his whole problems are gone. And on top of that, giving lecture about uh, akhra is more important. Why? Because he had lost many things. So he was completely disappointed, dejected. So I showed him the light that if you have lost something in this dunya, but this is not the end of the world. Akhra is more important than dunya. Then Alhamdulillah, he got the hope and by grace of Allah, he testified that now he's feeling best and now he's going to, uh, uh, tomorrow he's going back to Finland to see his family and then again he will come to see me on Thursday. And uh, I told him certain practices, religious practices which he should carry on and inshallah I hope that uh, by grace of Allah, he will be treated forever. May Allah give all of us best of health and give us uh, the emotion and uh, will and zeal to help humanity and to serve humanity and to love humanity. Amin. Assalamu alaikum. Doctor, I also forgot to mention when I came to your office, I've seen one lady and we also, uh, uh, she explained she has a book and she took um, uh, the, every time she tested on herself, um, she wrote. I mean, plainly, she said, "Doctor Nazir, today you're helping many, many yeah. um, she mothers." Had, she had and, four. Uh, in, in your, I mean, in my school, and they are all of them very, very happy. Yes. And many of them have got uh, treatment. Good results. Yes. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Because one one lady she showed me and um, th their names and uh, the way they get better and treat. Allah brought me to you and uh, and finally I'm so happy and thank you very much.